Our scripture reading this morning is from the book of Esther. And since Esther is not in your New Testament, we have uh, printed it on the on the sheet here, on the uh, bulletin. At least we printed it in the Hungo. But we'll read it in English and Japanese. Book of Esther. Esther is about strength and courage commitment. We're only going to read a few verses, but I'd suggest to you, if you want to have a good reading this afternoon, go home and find your Old Testament and read all nine chapters of Esther. It doesn't take long, and it's an exciting story. You'll enjoy reading. But today we're reading from the fourth chapter the 13th through the 16th verses. And Mordecai, who is Esther's cousin, is uh, speaking. Then Mordecai told them to reply to Esther, Do not imagine that you in the king's palace can escape any more than all the Jews. For if you remain silent at this time, Relief and deliverance will arise for the Jews from another place, and you and your father's house will perish. And who knows whether you have not attained royalty for such a time as this. Then Esther told them to reply to Mordecai, Go assemble all the Jews who are found in Susa and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days, night or day. I and my maidens will also fast in the same way. And thus I will go into the king, which is not according to the law, and if I perish, I perish. Mr. Wachi. Yes, I should be in my thing. Let's, let's uh, read together. It's the only piece I'm here モルデカイはエステルに人気を持っていたあなたはすべてのメディアにから離れて高級にいるから助かるだろうと考えてはいないもしあなたがこのような時に沈黙を守るなら別のところから助けとを救いが依頼人のためにおろうしかしあなたもあなたの父の家も滅びようあなたがこの王国に来たのはもしかするとこの時のためであるかもしれないエステルはモルデカイに人形を送っていた。行って、死者たちに依頼人を見ら始め、私のために大人気をしてください。3日目は食べたり飲んだりしないように、私も私の人形と同じように大人気をしましょう。たとえ亡霊に住むべきでも、私は王のところへ参ります。私は住まなければならないのでは死にます。This is what she joins me. Now, I should say this at the outset. The scripture we read probably didn't make a whole lot of sense for you because it's in, right in the middle of a story. <laughs> Now we'll have the story. But there was one, one point in there that was important that you understand. Mordecai, her cousin, said to Esther, you have a responsibility because of your position as queen. Live up to that responsibility. I will. あの今日の聖書の箇所はエステルキの全部のお話ストーリーを読まないとあのよくお分かりにならないかもしれないんですけれどもあの今日のメッセージの中でそのお話が分かるようにいたしますそしてえエステルのいとこであったモルデカイは言いましたあのエステルは王妃という地位についたのにはその地位についただけの責任が伴うということを言って、えー、今日のお話に続いていくことになります。Now, I wonder how many of you have ever heard the expression "Behind every good man is a good woman." <笑>良き男性には必ず良き女性の支えがあるという言葉をお聞きになったことがおありでしょうか。
It's a well-known saying, at least in the Western world. Well, today we're considering a story about a woman where something similar might be said. Something like, behind every great man is a great woman. But、uh, notice, I didn't say good man, because not every great man is a good man. <laughs> But the woman I want to talk about this morning was a great woman who was also a good woman. A good woman whom God used. To change the course of history. Think of that. He used her to change the way history was going to go. Well, our story begins in the first chapter of Esther with. Ahazu Eris, who became king of Persia around 481 or 483 BC. This king is also known in history as Xerxes, his Greek name. So, if you don't mind, I'll use that name as I continue the story because it's easier to pronounce. Now, Xerxes' kingdom was huge. It had 127 province, provinces. Stretching from India all the way back down to Ethiopia. This means, incidentally, that Persia had also conquered Judah. That happened 103 years before Xerxes was king, when Nebuchadnezzar was king. Now, not only did Persia conquer Judah, they also took all the Jews into captivity. You can read about that in the 25th chapter of 2 Kings. So, all but a few thousand of the poorest of the poor of God's people were now in Persian provinces. Incidentally, do you know what the modern name for Persia is? Iran. Iran. But now, under King Xerxes, the Persians were planning to expand their empire one more time. They were planning to invade Greece. And as was their custom before having a big invasion, the king planned an impressive 180 day celebration. It would be a celebration that would impress the neighboring countries 
not only with Persia's wealth, but also its strength. この祝宴の目的は近隣諸国にペルシャの富を見せ,見せびらかすだけではなくペルシャの強大な力を印象づけることにあったのです。Among others that were invited to this celebration were the 127 leaders of the provinces. 多くの招待客の中にはこの127諸州のリーダーたち、長官たちも含まれていたからです。Now, to climax the celebration at the end, there would be a banquet. The banquet would last seven days. I want to tell you that's a big Viking. <laughs> But you know, maybe. Drunken party lasting seven days would be a better way to say it. Because then on the last day of the banquet, the king sent for his wife Vashti to come and display her beauty. セルクセス王は王妃ワシテを呼び招待客にその美しさを見せびらかせようと思いつきました。Imagine this king wanted his wife to come and display herself before the king's associates. 想像してみてもください。この王は自分の仲間たちの前に自分の王妃の美しさを見せびらかそうとしたのです。Well, to her credit, Vashti refused. 王妃はこれを。しかし彼女は王妃の座を。The king was furious. And the king asked some of his counselors, What should we do about this? The king counselors thought, they thought You know what? If she gets away with this, all the other women, including our wives, might become rebellious. And so the counselors counseled that the king take the crown from Vashti and give it to another woman. The king accepted the counselor's suggestion to reject Vashti and to choose another woman to be queen. And what could best be described as a beauty contest? The, after that, the king chose a beautiful young Jewish girl by the name of Hadassah, whose Persian name was Esther. Only the king. Didn't know she was Jewish. Esther was an orphan who had been raised by her cousin Mordecai. Now, around this time, the king took another action that's important in our story. 同じ頃王はこの話に関係のあるもう一つの重要な決定を下しました。The king appointed a man named Haman to a position that was above all the other princes. 王はハマンという男をすべての王族の上に立つ
最高の高い地位を与えたのです。ヘイマンは、ヘイマンは、ヘイマンは、ヘイマンは、ヘイマンは、ヘイマンは、ヘイマンは、ヘイマンは、ヘイマンは、ヘイマンは、ヘイマンは、ヘイマンは、But vain, but Haman was like many prime ministers. He was very vain and proud. So, with his new position, he required everyone to prostrate themselves before him. You see, Haman wanted adoration that should only be given to God Himself. Now, at this time, Esther 2 19 tells us that Mordecai, who you remember had raised Esther, he sat in the king's gate. He was an important man. エステルティ2章19節にあるようにその頃あのエステルを育てていたモルデカイは王宮の門のそばにおりましたモルデカイは王の家来の一人として王の命令を待つために王宮の門の部屋に待機していたのです Now, Mordecai was a good Jew who would not prostrate himself before anyone but God. Let me pause there for a moment to say something about that prostration. Bowing to someone is okay. But this was different. You got down on your face, put your forehead on the ground, and you adored this person, you worshiped them. Now, to, Haman, to Mordecai, this was absolutely wrong because that was idolatry. So Mordecai refused to prostrate himself before anyone but God. And this, the Bible tells us, made Haman very, very angry. But you know, Haman didn't want to just destroy Mordecai. He wanted to destroy all the Jews in the kingdom because Haman hated the Jews, they were his enemy. So Haman did something else. Haman convinced the king that these Jews were enemies and they needed to be destroyed. All that Haman needed to complete his plan for, was for the king to issue an official decree. That all the Jews were, be, were to be put to death. Well, the king issued the decree. And according, though, according to the laws of the Medes and the Persians, this decree was unchangeable. その当時のメディアとペルシャの法律では、一旦正式に発令された王の布告は取り消すことはできませんでした。Not even the king himself could change a law he had made. 
王自身でさえ自分の出した命令を変えることができなかったのです。わ、wow. あ。大変なことですね。But of course, Haman wasn't really the author of this plan. ところで、このような悪だくみを計画した本当の首謀者はハマンではありませんでした。You have to know. You have to understand. That this idea of eliminating the Jews was conceived first by Satan himself. It was really Satan's plan. This was not the first time that Satan tried to destroy the Jews. Remember, he tried it earlier in Egypt when he tried to destroy all the little Jewish babies? But God had other plans, and Moses was miraculously delivered from sure death, and he went on to lead the Jews out of slavery. しかし、神様には別のご計,画をご計画があり、モーセは奇跡的に助け出され、死を免れてユダヤ人をエジプトの奴隷状態から導き出す神様のご計画に用いられたのです。それ以来、サタンは何度もユダヤ人を破滅させようと企むようになったのです。しかし、毎回神様はユダヤ人を守られました。But now, Satan had a new plan to kill the entire population of the Jews. Because Satan knew that if he could wipe out the Jews, he would spoil God's plan of salvation for the world. Satan's new plan then included using evil Haman to do his duty, to do his dirty work, rather. So, Satan was able to do his own work, and he was able to do his own work, and he was able to do his own work. And this new plan, if it worked, It was allowed to happen, would end any hope for the restoration of the Jewish nation since it would eliminate the Jews as a people. Further, since the Jewish people would be eliminated, it would mean there'd be no baby born in Bethlehem. さらに言えばユダヤ民族が絶滅してしまえばベツレヘムでのイエス様のご生誕もなくなってしまうことを意味しておりますそうなれば人類全体の救い主もないことになりますサタンが勝利を収めるはずでしたしかし神様の方にもあるご計画があったのです And so God again stepped in, and in a heaven sent way, He delivered His people from the decree so that Christ might come of their seed as promised in Genesis 12. 神様は再びご介入になられました。まず神様はエステルのいとこのモルディカイに働きかけることでそのご計画を始められたのです。You see, when Mordecai heard about the decree, he put on sackcloth and ashes and covered himself with ashes to display his grief. 王の布告を聞いたモルディカイは、質素な荒布をまとい、灰をかぶって強い悲しみを表しましたそのようにしてユダヤ人たちは自分の強い悲しみを表していたのですまた悔い改めを示すためにも粗末の荒布をまとい灰をかぶって
悔い改めたのです。Oh, その頃こういう今とは違った習慣がありました。今,今私たちはそのような時にはただ深く頭を下げてそして誠意からお詫びを申し上げるわけです。But there was Mordecai in his sackcloth and ashes. しかし、この当時の習慣に従って、モルデカイは、えー、灰をかぶり、アランをまとっていたのです。Now, when Queen Esther heard that her, from her maids that what Mordecai was wearing, she sent him fresh clothes. She thought maybe he needed them. <laughs> 王妃エステルは、えー、次女たちからモルデカイの様子を聞いて、彼には、新しい洋服が必要だと考えて、衣服が必要だと考えて、それを用意して送りました。しかし、モルデカイそれを着ることを拒否しました。そこでエステルは王の勘案を送って、どんな問題があるかを尋ねさせました。モルデカイがユニックにあったコピーを送りました。モルデカイがモルデカイはカンガンに王の布告のコピーを渡してそれをエステルに見せるように託しました。And Mordecai also charged Esther with the responsibility of pleading for the Jews' lives before the king. 同時にエステルには王の前で全てのユダヤ人たちの命乞いをするようにと指示を与えました。Sounds easy, doesn't it? 簡単に聞こえますが。But it wasn't so easy. Because not even the queen could come before the king uninvited without risking her life. Things were different in those days. 習慣,は習慣として当時の習慣はそのようなもので今とは違っておりました。Nowadays, wives don't ask be, or wait to be invited before they come before their husbands. 妻が夫の前に、えー、招,招くことを許す,許すという許可を得ることを尋ねるなんていうことは今ではいたしません。Our way today is probably better. <laughs> 今日の習慣の方がいいかもしれません。しかし、モルデカイが繰り返しエステルに命令したためについに、エステルも自分の命の危険を犯してでも王に話をしようと決心しました。Listen to Mordecai's words as recorded in chapter 4. 4章14節に記録されているモルデカイからエステルへの言葉をお聞きください。モルデカイは、エステル、who knows whether you've come to the kingdom for such a time as this? この時のためにこそ、あなたは大きな位にまで達したのではないか。You see, モルデカイは、エステルは、エステルは、エステルは、エステルは、エステルは、エステルは、これでお分かりでしょう。モルデカイはエステルが大きな座についたのはこのような時のためにこそと考えたのです。So sort of では、このような時とはどんな時であったのでしょう。この時期は、王の側の人々は、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、How they took a six month vacation for wickedness and sin. They neglected the nation and its welfare, their homes, their children, education, everything. Haman, the prime minister, was wicked to the core. 総理大臣のハマンは骨の髄まで悪く腐った人間でした。人間の命など安く見られていた時代でした。When the leaders were willing to sign a decree to have maybe as many as two million Jews killed just because one of them wouldn't bow to Haman. 200万人くらい、おそらく200万人くらいいたユダヤ人のうちのたった一人は。
ハマンに頭を下げないからといって200万人全てにその連帯責任を取らせるというひどい布告に王や国のリーダーたちがサインするような時代でした、really、王国全体に罪がまことに蔓延していた時代でした。俗悪な肉欲を楽しむ時代でした神によって性別された神聖な婚姻など考えにも入れないような時代でした強い信仰とアクションを取る勇気のある誰かの出番を待ち望んでいる時代でした。そしてその誰かとは王妃エステルでした。エステルは、王妃エステルでした。エステルは、王妃エステルでこのような時のためにこそエステルは、王妃の位に就いたのでした。A notable time. 大変記録すべき時代です。Then, courage, 聖書の記述によると、エステルは王妃のガウ,ンをガウンだけではなく、大いなる勇気もその身にまとって王の前に立ったのです。We're told聖書の記述は続きます。エステルは王の行為を得て話すことを許され、ユダヤ民族を救う計画を告げることができたのです。Understand this: If the king had not raised his scepter, Which indicated she could come in. If he hadn't done that, the guards would have immediately taken her out and beheaded her. But she did it. She spoke out. She spoke out because silence would have been a sin. Silence would, be, would have been a sin because Esther was in a unique, responsible position at a time that needed a good person of faith and prayer to take a stand. 沈黙するのは罪であったというのは、エステルが王妃という責任ある地位についたのは、強い信仰と祈りによって立ち上がり、意見を述べる良い人間が必要な時代だったからです。Now I'm sure there were men in the kingdom who were sympathetic to the difficult position of the Jewish population. おそらくその時代にも王国の中にはユダヤ民族が追い込まれた苦難に対して。同情を寄せる男性たちもいたことでしょう。しかしそれらの男性たちにはエステルという若い女性が持っていた何かが欠けていたのです。Right. 男たちには強い信仰と正しいことを実行する道徳的な勇気に欠けていたのです。Had not only the faith, but also the moral courage to stand up and do what was right. Well, as a result, Haman's plan did not work. And Satan was defeated. Ha-man しし 
God's plan, which included using a willing and courageous Esther, did work. And God, as He always does, won. We thank God for Queen Esther. Today we live in a world that's again neglecting to stand up for what's right. That's why we need to constantly pray that men and women in high places will do the right thing. But, しかし、Also, we need to remember that sometimes God may call on us to take a stand for what's right. しかし、私たちが忘れてはならないことは、神様が私たちを召してくださり、正しいことを主張する立場を明らかにすることを。And when that time comes, when that time comes, we must be ready to display the same kind of faith and courage that this young woman displayed. Esther. Esther. A real example for both Christian men and women to follow. Because you see, it's for such a time as this that God calls all of us to have faith and courage. このエステルのように正しいことを主張するためにこのような時のためにこそ立ち上がる強い信仰と勇気を持つようにと命令されているからです。We must constantly remember to stand up for what's right. 正しいことのために立ち上がらなければならないということを常に覚えていなければなりません。And we must constantly remember to stand up for Jesus. そしてイエス様のために立ち上がることを Yeah, let's start now. Let's stand together and sing. Sing to yourselves this hymn, number 730. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. Number 730. Today, that all of us assembled here today might take this story and appropriate it to our own lives. When we have opportunities that the, you have placed us in, Lord, we won't be silent. We'll speak up, we'll stand up for what is right. We'll accept the responsibility. That you've given to us as Christians. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.